What's up, guys? One more time, just letting you know about my stream tomorrow. Uh, a little bit of a preview of what you're going to get. So leave it to the math nerd of YouTube and RuneScape to sit down in front of a whiteboard and work out some calculations for you. But enjoy what I have for you. And reminder, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. CST, Central Standard Time. Tomorrow, Saturday, October 17th. Hope to see you there. Uh, no pressure to subscribe or donate. Not even an affiliate yet. I just want just want people around to talk to. It'll make it more fun. And it'd be cool if I could get to that point before Trailblazer actually starts. So looking forward to seeing you there. And we're going to do some fun stuff with medium clues. So let's first write down how many possible clues there are in each area. So we've got our starting area. All right. So inside the starting area, we're going to have 40 available medium steps. Asgarnia. Asgarnia is only 17. Kind of small, right? Seems like a big area. All right, then we move on to Desert. Desert's even worse. Desert's only got five. Kandarin? Kandarin's the biggie. It's 53, as if it wasn't OP enough already. Fremi? Fremi, we're looking at seven. Wasn't expecting much up there for medium steps. And then Mori, same thing, 11. Wasn't expecting a whole lot. So this is our breakdown. We've got 15 in Great Karen that we're just forgetting about because those aren't possible to get here. Lastly, we've got a few special ones. There's a Mori, Kander, and Combo. All right. There's one that's a Mori, Desert Combo. There's one that's a Kander and Asgarnia Combo. Some of this has to do with, like, the items you need. There's a Kander and Prif. That one requires an Addy Halberd and a Kander and Area. And then we've got one where it's either Asgarnia without Fremi to talk to Steve. Or you can have the combo of Fremi and Kander in. All right. So this is our breakdown right here. Uh, the special ones I can do is I'm doing Fremi and Kander in, and I got Kander and Prif. So I'm going to add an extra two to my list. All right. So now let's total up what I can do, and let's total up all the possible steps. So we had five special ones. Uh, 40, 17, that's 57, 62, uh, 115, 122, uh, 133, 138 total. So 138 are the available steps. You can get clue steps out of your own area. Now let's total up mine. All right, I got the starting area. Then I'm going to have Kandarin, Fremi. Priftinus doesn't have any special ones on its own. Not for medium clues. So I got 40, 53, that's 93. And I got 7. It's 100 plus my two special ones. So I'm looking at 102 out of 138. All right, so you can look back at your numbers and... Do the math I do if you feel like it. This is my fraction. Uh, my fraction comes out to, it's a 73 point, and I'm going to do more specific math off camera, but a 73.9% chance to be able to do any given step. All right, so you're also going to be out of 138, but you can choose your different areas based on what I listed at the start. All right, count in your specials, but it's always going to be out of 138. So mine's 102 out of 138. And I think this is the one thing some of you guys might have to correct me on. Two things, actually. This is a breakdown for three, four, and five step. Is it average? Um, the wiki says that for the three, four, five rolls on the loot table, it averages out even, so you just average to four. Here I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just, I'm counting it as one third. But to get three working steps in a row, what we do is we cube this number. All right, to get four working steps in a row, we take the fourth power. And then finally, for a five-step medium, we take the fifth power. All right, I'm going to add each of those together. Then we're going to divide the whole thing by three. So my total, my total percent chance, if you're choosing the same areas as I am, Prif, Fremi, Kandarin, 30.762%. All right, now let's look at getting Ranger Boots. So we're going to erase this bad boy. You can go type that in on some big old calculator if you want to. So we're, and we're going to multiply this percent. First thing, I'm going to turn it into a decimal for this to work right. I'm going to multiply this decimal 
by the odds of getting ranger boots and then triple it because we're not stupid. We're saving our we're saving our medium caskets for when we got three times drop rate. Um, but what the fraction comes out to is pretty close to one in 307. This does not mean that I have to complete 307. This is 307 clue drops to be on drop rate.